Jeep Wrangler is a well-known name, rocking the off-road since the Second World War. Carrying its legacy, the Wrangler 4xe has set foot in the off-road vehicle industry since 2021 and seems to be doing great with introducing a hybrid engine system to the market. With the capability of insane torque, better efficiency, and better control on any trail, Jeep Wrangler 4xe is undoubtedly making its place in the industry. And here's our video where we've explained everything one needs to know about the Jeep Wrangler 4xe, and it is going to be the future of 4x4. So, with the motto of Freedom Electrified, Jeep launched its first Wrangler with a hybrid drivetrain naming it 4xe and as an extreme off-roader 4x4 vehicle. How well this plug-in powered vehicle will perform? Will it just change the perspective of off-roading or just backfire like a few other new innovations? Guess it's just a matter of time before we find that out. Let's rewind back to the late 19th and early 20th century when a company named Four Wheel Drive not only invented 4x4 technology, but dominated the automobile industry with that. Back then, there were either bad roads or no road, which led people to feel the necessity of 4x4 vehicles. That technology eventually got more and more polished and improvised little by little and reached its extreme with new technologies from different brands like Ford, Chevrolet, and Ram. But as we off-road lovers craved to cross the limits, improvisations didn't just stop there, as we're seeing 4xe in the market. Now, if we look under the hood, this beast is power-packed with a turbocharged and direct-injected 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine. But that isn't the only thing we are so excited about now, are we? So, if we talk about its electrification, a pair of electric motors were added. One was built into the 8-speed automatic transmission, and the other was integrated directly with its combustion engine. As a result, the electric motor becomes an alternator with a drive belt, making its combustion and electric propulsion collaborate in the best manner. Now, what happens here is the front motor works as an electric supercharger. Why? Let us explain. Let's not make it too nerdy. Simply, it utilizes the unnecessary engine spin to generate power and recharge its battery whenever it's not being throttled. But when you push the throttle, its system combines that stored power to create a tremendous and instantaneous torque to the engine, effectively boosting everyone's off-roading experience with proper efficiency. Unlike traditional EVs like the BMW iX or the Volvo XC40, Wrangler isn't just a regular vehicle for your daily commute. Instead, it's made to explore beyond the limit, possibly because its battery pack is placed underneath its second row seat, not the whole vehicle. In the 4xe Jeep Wrangler, users get to see three different driving modes. The default mode would be hybrid, which combines power from the electric motor and the combustion engine to generate some efficient power. Even on the most unforgiving trail, if we compare the power output to this hybrid mode with, let's say, Ford Bronco or Land Cruiser, their power output to fuel consumption ratio won't seem very efficient. On the other hand, its electric mode shuts off the 2-liter engine and makes it a fully electric vehicle. Users can efficiently complete their daily commute using this mode with a single charge. Now, the third one we're left with is the e-save mode, which will do just the opposite of the electric mode. Turning off its electric motors, your Wrangler will be powered by its combustion engine, like any other 4x4s. But unlike others, this one will generate your battery for the next challenge on the trail. At this point, you can tell that because it's a plug-in hybrid vehicle, users don't have to compromise with power. With such innovation in its hybrid drivetrain, this vehicle can deliver up to 375 horsepower combined, resulting in a powerful acceleration of 0 to 60 miles per hour within only 6 seconds. Now, we know that fully electric off-road beasts like Ford F-150 Lightning, Chevy Silverado EV, and Rivian also have some powerful acceleration with utility. But the need for charging stations and proper power management during such trails keeps fully electric off-road vehicles a bit behind. And then again, when we hear plug-in electric vehicles, the most common thing that hits our mind is charging that car. And as such an extreme off-roader, it's somewhat problematic, as those extremely rugged trails can be pretty power-demanding. 
But that problem wouldn't last long as Jeep is initiating the development of a trailhead charging network, putting charging stations at some popular off-road trails so that users can feel the new taste of their propulsion system on those unforgiving trails. But if there's none, then you're left with the internal combustion engine, which also will recharge its battery up to 80%. To summarize, the new 4xe drive train will be a thing, a real thing as customers are demanding more eco-friendly and efficient options, even for conquering the unseen. More power and control over torque will make vehicles crawl better, regardless of the steepness. An integration of this technology with the Grand Cherokee already explains how this 4xe is getting popular among 4x4 vehicle owners. And that was all about the Jeep Wrangler 4xe, which is possibly going to be the future of 4x4. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And to stay updated about all kinds of off-roading and recreational vehicles, follow us on Facebook and Instagram.